How do you keep your Greek and Hebrew? Maybe you just finished your first year of the biblical languages, or maybe you're trying to resurrect them. Either way, I've got four tips, four R's, to help keep your Greek and Hebrew alive so that you can thrive with the biblical languages. I'm JC Schroeder, and this is Bite Size Greek and Hebrew. Let's dive into it. Tip number one, and the first R to keep your Greek and Hebrew, is to read. There is no substitute for reading the biblical languages. You have to engage with the text. When you read, read something easy and enjoyable. So probably don't start with Job and don't start with Hebrews. Maybe start with something like Jonah or 1 John. But whatever you start with, read something that you enjoy, that you're interested in. You will have far more success if you are excited to dig into that actual text. You also just want to read consistently. It's far better to read a little bit every day than to mass all this sorts of amount of time and reading on the weekends. And what happens is that's not realistic and it doesn't actually happen. So read consistently a little bit every day or a little bit every other day can go a long way to keeping and even advancing your biblical languages. Also, and this one's maybe slightly controversial, is to read with a crutch. You want to advance and keep moving forward in your use of the biblical languages. So if something like a Reader's New Testament or even Logos Bible software or some other software can help you to do that, that's a win. As long as you keep moving forward and advancing in your languages, that's great. There are times when we need to remove those crutches to help you to move forward. But as you are advancing forward, you want to just keep moving and those tools can help you with that. You can also use those handbooks like the Baylor handbook or the exegetical guide to the Greek New Testament that can help you as kind of a cheat sheet or a check on your parsing and your syntax of a passage. So the key thing here of any way to keep your Greek and Hebrew is just to read the actual text. The second R to keep your Greek and Hebrew is to review. Review your paradigms, review your vocabulary. Take a little bit of time, say you dedicated 10 minutes every day to work on your biblical languages. Set aside two minutes to just review one chart. That goes a long way. Set aside a little bit of time to review some tricky vocabulary that you're struggling with. So take a minute and review some of that syntax. That will help you when you're doing the reading step of working through a passage and going, oh, that's that syntactical construction that I've been struggling with. I'm gonna review that right now. That can really help you. Additionally, you may find it really helpful to review your reading. So if you're reading a passage, chapter one, verses one through five, in one day, the next day, read verses two through six. So you're reading four of the same verses that you read the day previously and adding additional one. That allows you to go back and to review a lot of the material that you already covered and maybe you glossed over the first time. And then you continue that day by day, moving one verse forward. You're still hitting five verses every day, but you are able to advance and also to review. R number three is research. When you are studying a passage, whether for preaching or teaching or for your own personal study, look that passage up in your grammar, whether it's your introductory grammar or a more advanced grammar. Take a look at the index, find the verse that you're working on, and then read about the discussion about that verse. This will do a few different things. First, it will help you understand the text that you're about to teach on, when. Second, it will also help advance your grammatical knowledge and help you understand the biblical languages better. When? Third, it will also make you excited to learn more about Greek and Hebrew because it's filtering into your actual real world knowledge of why you learn biblical Greek and Hebrew anyways. Win. Triple win. Our number four is resolve resolve to keep your Greek and Hebrew. I'm convinced more now than any time before that it's not about how smart you are. It's about being consistent in working with the biblical languages. Just keep moving and resolve to not let that work go to waste, resolve to trust the Lord in it, and resolve to not let that die. Now, if you have any other tips, put them in the comments to help others as well, including myself. But most of all, keep reading.